Hi, it's Brian from iSpring, and this time we're going to find out how to synchronize an audio file and PowerPoint presentation. When you're done watching this tutorial, you'll know how to record audio right here in PowerPoint with iSpring Suite, and import audio with the narration editor, plus synchronize it with your slides. Let's start recording by clicking the button on the toolbar. If necessary, you can pick a slide to start with from this drop down right here. You can also use the slide notes right here as a narration script and set up your microphone right here in the options. OK, let's start recording. As the recording progresses, you can use this button to advance slides and animations and then click OK when you're done. All right, now let's go over here to the narration editor and see how it looks. This is a more detailed interface that shows slides and media clips on a timeline that's easy to edit. And there's the clips I just recorded down here on the timeline, and they're already synced with the slides. By the way, if you prefer this interface for recording, you can click the record button up here, and then the process works the same right down here. Just sync the slides as you normally would, and then click done to save your changes, or cancel to undo them. Now I'll just select all these clips, and delete them so I can show you how to import pre-recorded audio. I'll just go back to the beginning, then click the audio button on the toolbar, and find the file I want to import. I'll put it at the beginning of the slide, and uncheck this box since it's a single audio file that spans several slides. OK, looks good. Now if you want to manually sync your imported audio, just click the sync button up here, and it works just like the recording process, only this time you're listening to the audio instead of recording it. I'm just going to cancel this sync and show you how to do it right here on the timeline. I happen to know where the gaps in the audio are, so I'm just going to drag these slide durations to match them. And I'm going to drag this on-click fade animation to show up when the paragraph starts. OK, looks good. Now I'm going to save and close out of the narration editor, and now I'm ready to publish. I'll check the title, destination, and output format, and I'm ready to go. If you have a lot of audio, it might take a little while to publish, so you might want to go get some fresh air. Then it'll open up in the preview window, and you can check the final product. Space Shuttle Program. Looks good. Thanks for watching. Now you're ready to add your own audio to a PowerPoint presentation. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.